Dow Day Jing. 48. In the pursuit of knowledge, every day something is added. In the practice of the Tao, every day something is dropped. Less and less do you need to force things until finally you arrive at non-action. When nothing is done, nothing is left undone. True mastery can be gained by letting things go their own way. It can't be gained by interfering. Dao De Jing, 48. Encouragement along the way. Welcome, welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful day, morning, evening, night, wherever you are. Good day to you, fellow seeker. Perhaps you are a fellow Christian and a fellow laborer in the Lord Jesus. Perhaps you are simply just searching. Perhaps you are a master in the Tao. Whatever you are, whoever you are and wherever you may be, know that I love you and God loves you. Without further ado, let's get into Tao Te Ching 48. Maybe one of my favorite Tao's ever, by the way. In the pursuit of knowledge, every day something is added. In the practice of the Tao, every day something is dropped. <laughs> less and less do you need to force things until finally you arrive at non-action. When nothing is done, nothing is left undone. True mastery can be gained by letting things go their own way. It can't be gained by interfering. This entire Tao, Dei Jing, number 48, is so major to understanding the Tao, Dei Jing, because Tao, Tao Dei Jing 48 is Wei Wu Wei. <clears throat> Uh, it just describes Wei Wu Wei. Um, and I love this because it's opposite to the world. The world is hustle, 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 hustle culture, hustle culture. Gotta have a second, third, fourth side hustle like I've referenced and mentioned before. But it says in the pursuit of knowledge every day something is added. So perhaps hustle culture is wrapped up in this pursuit of knowledge. But then it says in the practice of the Tao every day something is dropped. See... Hustle culture, I don't think, is, is in harmony with the Tao. There's a time and a season for everything, sure. But observe nature. Observe what nature does and how nature acts. There are seasons for things. It's not always this always grind, grind, grind. That just exhausts you. How can you be of any use to anyone if you're just in a constant grind? And always in this perfection mode. It just doesn't, doesn't jive with harmony. Less and less do you need to force things until finally you arrive at non-action. The game plays the game. The poem writes the poem. You can't tell the dancer from the dance. In a commentary for the Tao, uh, someone once said that um, a, a, a good athlete can enter a state of body awareness where it's like they aren't doing the action. Like if you're playing basketball, it's you aren't dribbling. The dribbling is just simply happening. Uh, when you shoot, it's just a swish and it just goes right in the basket. But you aren't really shooting the basket. You aren't shooting the ball. You're just... It's just going into the basket. You, it's just, it is happening. It's, it's doing, not doing. It's way, way, way. It's, it's the gas into the pure flame. And this is non-action. It's the principle of non-action. It's, and it's living in that. It's, it's, it's existing in that. It's uh, switching lanes into that and stepping into the river uh, of that, of way, way, way. Um, instead of however else you're living. Because again, the Tao Te Ching is the book of the way, and it's also called 
um, mastering the art of living. The art of life is what it is also known as. Lao Tzu wrote us a book on how to live. What is the way to the way? Can anyone answer that question? Well, John 14 verse 6 says, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no man cometh unto me, unto the Father, but by me. The words of Jesus. Anyways, that's not a word. Anyway, I digress. <clears throat> when nothing is done, nothing is left undone. This is so huge. This is so major. When nothing is done, nothing is left undone. Do you understand? Wei Wu Wei. All paths are open to the master. He can explore all day without leaving his house. He can see the essence of the Tao without looking out of his window. True mastery can be gained by letting things go their own way. It can't be gained by interfering. There it is. Let it go. Let all things come and go effortlessly. That's the secret. It's like a, maybe there's like a t couple steps. The Tao does say, I have only three things to teach you, simplicity, patience, and compassion. But uh, if there were just like maybe three steps to the Tao, it would be, it could be. The master leads by letting all things come and go effortlessly. His art, his heart is as open as the sky. Hmm. Way woo way, I suppose. And staying at the center. Stay at the center of the circle. That's the core of your being. That's the core of yourself. It's the center of your heart. It's who you really are beyond words and actions and just you being and breathing in and out. It's who you are at your center, your core. Run to that place inside of you and hold on to it for dear life and don't leave the center. So again, it's stay at the center. Way, 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 doing, not doing. And another way of doing that is the master leads by letting all things come and go effortlessly. His heart is as open as the sky. Are you understanding? Do you understand how to maneuver, how to walk this life. Because you can be it. You cannot know it, but you can be it. At ease in your own life. Just realize where you come from. How do I know this is true? I look inside myself and see. The kingdom of heaven is within. The secrets are all around. The, the, the guiding, the, the goads, the directions are all around. God gave us the sunlight to light our way so we could find it. Back to Him. God says, return unto me and I will return unto you, saith the Father. Return to the source. Return to the center. Return to the natural way things are, the natural way of being. Not this abnormal way of being that the world promotes but a simpler way, a, a more natural way, becoming like nature. The master um, uh, masters nature not by controlling nature, but by becoming nature. So I encourage you to let it go. Breathe in, <sighs> breathe out. All the ish, all the mess, all the noise. That's all it is. In a hundred years, who's going to know? In a two hundred years, who's going to be here? Who cares? Nobody cares. Just relax. Be you. I wrap this up and uh, give all the glory to God in the name of Jesus. I pray. And I'd like to uh, read one quick verse from the King James Bible. This is Ephesians 6, verse 12, which says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, 
against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Guys, on your journey to becoming nature and mastering nature by becoming nature, the evil forces are not going to be happy that you are not letting them manipulate you. Are, our battle is not flesh and blood against people. It's against spiritual wickedness and principalities of darkness in high places, y'all. So if you don't know, now you know. And I encourage you to meditate on that and what that truly means because our battle truly is not a physical battle. Our battle is a spiritual battle. And I will leave you with that. I uh, hope you're encouraged. And don't let the darkness get at you. Don't let the ish get at you. Stay at the center. Way wu way, doing not doing. Let all things come and go effortlessly. Just breathe. All right, y'all. See you in the next one.